We're going to make a font using Adobe Illustrator and Glyphs Mini. We're going to make it like a brush stroke font and uh, we use the uh, Wacom tablet to create sort of uh, thick and thin letters, hand drawn letters. So in Glyphs Mini, let's just make sure that we got the net metrics right for our font. Uh, I've created a new font and I'm going to go to Font Info and notice the metrics here. Um, these are going to relate to a 100 by, I'm sorry, 1000 by 1000 UPM font. Um, that's 1000 UPMs high by 1000 UPMs wide, which we may adjust later. But for now, it makes it easy to transform the fonts from Illustrator to Glyphs. So note the uh, measurements here for Glyphs. I'm also going to make sure that all of my fonts, by holding Shift, choosing my letters, all my glyphs have 1,000 uh, UPMs wide. And if you want to add any numbers, you can do that through the numbers palette here. Uh, let's just shift click all the missing glyphs and generate those. And then any punctuation uh, marks, um, you can add them down here. And any math symbols that you want. Um, those are in here as well somewhere. Where are you? I wish there was a quick way to do these all at once, but I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so back to Illustrator. Uh, let's make a new file. And it's going to be 1000 by 1000, and this will give me enough sections so that I can draw all my letters in the same document. And it makes it nice because I can see them next to each other and adjust them if I want to make any adjustments in the context of the other letters. So we'll click OK. Also note that I've changed my grid to 100 points with four subdivisions which simulates a A sender, cap height, X height, baseline, and D sender that we can generally follow. And this is just a brush font, so it doesn't have to be exact, but it's good for this practice. So I'm going to turn off the fill, change the stroke to true black, and start drawing. Uh, one more note with the brush, I want to make sure that um, I have a brush selected that is pressure. And uh, if I want to change the size, maybe seven is a little bit better than five. OK, and I'll start drawing. Uh, let me start with the capital letters. Okay, so now I've got all my symbols and numbers and letters pretty much done. I can always add more later, but um, throw a little uh, colon in there or something. We need to convert these strokes to shapes. So I'm going to select all. Now, at this point, you may want to save a copy because you may want to later adjust your brush strokes. But if you're happy with your letters, you just choose um, select all, object, and uh, path outline stroke and then we need to unify these using the expand pathfinder so we go to the pathfinder and we choose uh, unite okay so at this point we have to make a bounding box around each of the letters and numbers so i'm going to draw a rectangle or a square around uh, the first letter make sure that the fill is none and then under transform, just make sure it's 100 points by 100 points. Then you're going to move it. Object transform, move. Move it to the right, 100 points. Vertical is 0. 
and copy. Now just by hitting Command D, we can repeat that move all the way across. We also need these to move down. So let me select all these shapes. Object, transform, move. Zero, horizontal, 100, vertical. Copy. Command D, 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 and D. Don't need these last ones, so I'm just going to delete them. Next, we need to group each of the letters with their bounding box. So obviously, all the letters are ungrouped. When I select one, it selects all of them. So let's ungroup. And then going through each letter in their bounding box, we will select them and hit Command-G to group. that I've already grouped so that I can get to the inner ones. Alright, so I have now grouped each one of these uh, letters with their bounding boxes. So you can see each one's a unit. And now I need to um, align them all to the top left corner so I can distribute the layers. So I'm going to select all, and under the Align palette, I'm going to align left and top. That seems to be an extra little ding bat there. I'm going to just delete that. I don't know what that is. Now I'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to choose release to layers to sequence. What this does is it puts everything on its own layer. If I want to just show one layer I can option click the eyeball and just show that layer. So I'm going to go from the top or bottom to the top here, starting with the A. Select all. Oh, before I do this, very important, I need to um, I need to scale all of the letters up to 1,000 by 1,000. So let's do that. Just show them all. Just select all. We're going to go to transform. I'm going to change the width and height to 1,000 by 1,000. Okay, much better. Now I'm going to lock all but layer, show all but layer uh, A. Select all, copy, go over to Glyphs Mini, and we'll go to Letters, double click A, and Paste. Now here's one of the problems. When I paste it in, it goes down to the, um, to the zero mark. But I want it to start up top here, so I don't have to move them every time. So again, laziness as a designer, I want to just take care of this all in one fail swoop. So I'm going to move selecting all. First, let's show all the layers. I'm going to select all, and then in transform, I'm going to move the Y up to 750. I believe that was the way to go. Oh, negative 750. Negative 750. Now I'll just show the A, 
select all, copy, and paste. Perfect. And now the only thing I need to do is double click on the bounding box and delete it. Back over to font, and I'm going to do that with all the rest of my characters. So I'll be back in a minute. So I'm pretty much done with uh, most of my glyphs. Just been copying and pasting these from Adobe Illustrator into glyphs. Down to like some of the symbols and stuff. Sometimes these things aren't uh, <coughs> listed out here, so you can always right click. I probably said this already, but you can generate whatever glyphs you need. One thing I do need is a uh, bar. Here we go. And I gotta make sure these are all one thousand wide. Just deleting the bounding box by double clicking on it. And last of all is the number sign. of characters in my font I just need to make uh, the font info here so font info names I'll give it a name I'll call it quick because um, I did this pretty quick in terms of font making quick hmm. we'll call it just quick for now put my designer Ben Dunkel designer URL uh, Ben Dunkel.com and uh, version is one that looks good. Okay. We just generate the font or export the font. And we'll click next. And put it in quick font here. Export font. And we're done. That was a font that took me probably a total of maybe an hour and a half to make.